Uh, my name is James Butler. I am from Barnesville, Georgia, which is Lamar County. Meet James and Corey. Corey, a 24-year-old African-American man with cerebral palsy, is being accompanied by his mentor, James Butler, also an African-American man. A couple years back, we bought a uh, one of just those mobile wheelchair carriers, and I always hook it into my bumper. James and Corey prepared to leave for voting. This morning, I guess we prepared to uh, pick up Corey Hubbard to take him to voting. I'll cut it off once I get it up there. Do you vote in every election? Yes. Yeah. Did you have a hard time deciding who to vote for? A, a little, but I, I, I like voting though. Why, why do you like voting? Because I get the name on the pictures. Corey turned 22 this year. He's kind of a ham, I guess. He really loved to interact with people and, and, and get out and do things. Well, he, he actually was voting before I uh, start helping him with it. On so the front of the building, there is a, a handicap ramp, a little lengthy and long, but the walkways and stuff are wide enough to where he can navigate pretty well. He asked me to open the door for him. I, I don't engage helping him until he asks for that help which is uh, just a practice we tend to do with most folks with disabilities to get out of the habit of assuming they need that support or that help. Corey starts to enter the okay, what do you see? but notices three steps in front of him. So we, we're going to have to go around to the back. So he gets halfway into the door and notes that there's uh, what, two flights of stairs that he would have to uh, uh, access to be able to get to the floor to where the elevator. So he couldn't really uh, get where he needed to go through that entryway. You all right. It gives you some driving experience. Corey turns right. and James follows him to the Ooh. ramp. So he came back out, moved uh, uh, Travers to a um, the real location that we call a real society location of the building, but it's actually a real entry for the building and, and where there is a handicap access, uh, a, a ramp as well. They arrive at the back entrance of the building. Can you open that door, please? Yes, sir. So I opened that door for him and he uh, uh, went through that doorway. Right. Yes, sir. Good. Match number two. Thank you. Uh, you gonna match it? Corey and James ascend to the second floor of the building. And, and we went up to the second floor to get into the actual uh, other polling location where the other uh, representative would uh, take his uh, paperwork and enter into a computer and give him his uh, um, his uh, voting card. But it wasn't about five candidates that that was in the runoff that he had to choose from. Of course, we assisted him in getting that bat into the entryway of the scanner, but he pushed it in and it, it and it and it slid through, and then uh, and then he received his peach for uh, his voting peach, and and then we was headed out. How did it feel to vote today, Corey? It felt good, and I like voting. Even though uh, the people are used to me helping Corey, they still, the behavior is still that, wow, he's doing something such exceptional. And I want to get folks to a place to where what Corey does isn't viewed as exceptional. It, it, it's normal for him. 